Hello Crypto Universe, this is Techman34 back with another detailed guide. Today we have a walkthrough on how to mine Monero on a PC. And you can also mine with a CPU instead of just the GPUs that we've been covering in the previous videos. The Monero algorithm is actually still profitable with the CPU. So if you've got a decent CPU in your laptop, you're going to be in good shape. So let's get into it. So what do you need? You need compatible hardware, so you need a decent CPU, i5, i7, or a GPU with enough RAM, which is one gigabyte. You need a compatible operating system, anything Windows 7 or above, so that's 8 or 10, Linux or Mac, which I know a lot of you, you guys have been asking for. You need your proper GPU drivers installed, and you need a free account at Minergate.com and I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm also going to include the link below. I'll show you some tweaks in Windows as I have in the other videos and uh, you'll be up and running in no time. So let's get started. Alright guys, you've seen this before for AMD GPUs. Go to AMD.com and get your current version of your drivers or you can download previous drivers known to work well with the certain GPUs for mining. For R9 GPUs and older, use version 15.12, RX 400 series, use 16.9.2, or 16.10.3, and then for RX 500 series, just use your current driver, or you can try the blockchain compute driver from AMD, which I've also seen some good results with. For NVIDIA GPUs, go to geforce.com drivers, enter in your information, and get that current version provided. All right, the next step is to get signed up at Minergate.com. If you do use the referral link that I have below, I do get a portion of your pool fees, so I appreciate that. It does not cost you anything extra to sign up through my link. It is a free account that you can set up. You're going to come in here, click Sign Up, Get Started, and uh, put your email in, password. For me, I've already got all of this set up, so I'm going to go ahead and just log in. And this takes you to kind of a main dashboard page. To get started, go up to the top and click on Downloads. And you get the Windows version, 64-bit or 32. We'll get the 64. And let me show you what's down here uh, because they do have other versions. As I mentioned, there's Windows, Mac, Ubuntu, Fedora. So Mac users uh, can, can mine with this platform as well, which is good. Alternative miners are down there. We'll touch on that a little bit later. Once you open up that EXE, just click through like you normally would. Next, 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 okay. We'll get that all set up. Click next. Next. Does not take long to install at all. We're going to run that. And once you come in here, then just use the same email that you just registered with, and it'll let you start mining. One click. It's funny, the uh, Vertcoin one-click miner has gotten a lot of attention lately, but I've been using this tool for over a year, and uh, it's very simple and easy to use. So this is a, a pretty weak laptop, guys. This is, uh, it is an i7, but it's an older one, and uh, it does have integrated graphics as well. So it's not doing a whole lot here, but it is mining XMR on your laptop. So a lot of people, after seeing these Ethereum and Zcash videos that I've done, said, hey, what about this laptop? Uh, well, this is an option for you, so you can mine Monero on your laptop. It is still, uh, you know, profitable and whatnot to, to mine using your CPU. Now, that being said, uh, I'm going to show you some tricks now to look at some different things that you can do with this. So, I'm going to log into another rig here and with using TeamViewer, and I'm going to push over using the file transfer. I'm going to push over that, that download that we just did for the uh, Monero version. Excuse me, for the Minergate version. I'll push that over to my rig here. I'm going to close this out. This was mining on nice hash already. I'm going to close that out. And we will get started with the Minergate installation on this mining rig. This rig has four RX 470s, uh, so that is obviously an AMD card, and I want to show you something that you can do to get a little bit of extra power 
uh, when mining Monero. So again, you do the same thing, download it, put in your email that you're going to use to mine, and click Start Mining. Now what I want to show you, so this is a rig, this is a mining rig, it's got a Celeron processor. As you know, those are not really made for doing a whole lot nowadays, but you can mine uh, with that to some degree, but that's really not going to do a, a whole lot for you. But uh, you can see that at one click, my GPUs are off and running there. Now, this is where a lot of people might just stop and say, hey, this is fine, this is, this is mining, but I'll tell you that if you go one step further, follow along with the rest of this video, I'm going to get you double that performance um, using a Claymore miner that's going to still mine on, on your MinerGate account uh, just using the Claymore miner directly and it's going to be a, a, a real workhorse for you. So it's worth it. So right now you can see there I was maxing out probably uh, about you know a little under a, a thousand um, kilohash. So go back into MinerGate, go to download, scroll all the way down and go to alternative miners. Okay, now on this page, and I apologize, this is kind of hard to see because I'm logged into this rig remotely, but you look and you'll see an XMR line of code. This is for your bat file, right? And so similar to what we've done in the past, we're going to create a bat file using this. We're going to copy it and open up Notepad and drop that in. All you have to change, and this is the, the neat thing too, when you use MinerGate, when you're mining, you're mining to your email address because you have a registered account with them. So you don't even need to worry about a wallet address at this at this point. Um, so you're going to drop in your line of code there and then where it says your email, we're gonna update that. So save your bat file. Uh, we're just gonna call it uh, Claymore's XMR bat. Um, you do need to type BAT at the end and then in that drop down, select all files and then click save. That will save your bat file, save that to your desktop. Uh, we are going to download the miner next and then we'll, we'll drop that bat file in there. So go ahead and update your email for your miner gate email that you just registered with. And then we're going to close that out and save. So scroll up a little bit and you'll see where you can click on the Bitcoin Talk link for that miner. And this will take you to Claymore's Crypto Note AMD GPU miner. Now, Crypto Note, Crypto Knight uh, is the algorithm itself. There are other coins that you can mine with this. Uh, but this is what I have found to be the most efficient for Monero mining. So uh, this is going to take you to that mega link from there to download. Uh, download, the current version is usually at the bottom. We'll go ahead and download the Claymore miner. And while we're doing that, why don't I walk you through the normal Windows tweak. So power and sleep settings, just make sure that your rig does, uh, is set to never go to sleep so that it can run 24-7. Uh, for updates, again, you know, we, I've walked you through this, but if this is the only video you've ever seen, I just want to cover the four. So sleep settings, updates, Windows update settings, your page file, and your Windows Defender. So update settings, you know, I've, I've been updating Windows only because there are so many security updates coming out, but you can shut those off if you want um, and whatnot. It's really up to you what you feel comfortable with. Uh, let's check on this miner real quick. Uh, okay, that looks like a different version here. Let's go back. I'm going to get the one right above it here. So, so it's a zip that looked like a uh, different format. I think that's an Apple format. All right, so we'll re-download that zip file. And uh, we'll be off and running. show in folder. I want to move this. I want to extract it and move it to our desktop so that we can have it on our desktop easily. Uh, you can see Windows Defender is yelling at us to take action here and this happens guys. These miners sometimes get flagged as viruses but you can unpack them and upload them to virus checking sites. There are no viruses in Claymore's miners. Um, 
So I'm going to move this. I'm going to first extract it. And then I'm going to take it and copy it, paste it onto my desktop. And then from there, we can actually set our uh, Windows Defender exclusion. So go into Settings, of Windows Defender, scroll down, and look for exclusions. We're going to add an exclusion to add uh, the folder that we just moved to our desktop into the exclusions. So look for the Claymore Crypto Note folder and add that. And then you can close that out. Uh, the last Windows tweak then is that page file update. So go to your file explorer, right click on PC, go to properties, advanced system settings, click on settings, choose best performance then on the advanced tab, change your page file manually. I've already got it here to 32,000 plus, set it to at least 16,384, that's 16 gigabytes, which is the minimum recommended for these miners. Hit OK, Apply, OK. I'm just going to cancel this out because, again, I already had it set. Close that out. All right, so now we're back at our desktop here. And we want to take that bat file that we just made and drop it into the Claymore Crypto Note folder. The bat file has to be in the same folder as the miner itself. And then you can just double click it. Now this Claymore miner is very powerful. So we saw we were capped out at about 980 to 1000 um, kilohash. We'll let this bad boy run for a minute and then we will see what we're doing. Whenever you run a new miner, your firewall settings may need to uh, manually be triggered to allow access. That's fine. Just click on that, and then you're up and running. So there we go. So we're over 2,400 now, so over 2x, so almost 2.5x the performance of the built-in GPU miner on Minergate. So... I really recommend if you have AMD and you want to mine Monero, you can set up Minergate to run on your CPU and then run Claymore on your GPUs. One other trick I want to show you is on NVIDIA rigs. For NVIDIA, you're going to be better off doing Equihash, so go check out the Zcash video. I'll drop another link to that. Um, and you can mine Zencash or Zcash. I'm mining Zencash here on this rig. But you can see I'm, I'm running Minergate uh, for the CPU mining. And so this is an i7-4790K that you saw there. Uh, so it's it's doing over 150. So you saw on my laptop, I was doing about 30 something uh, with an older i7. This i7 is kind of old as well, but it's a little more powerful for my gaming rig. And uh, it's getting getting like 160 or so. So, but that's a, that's a good way to do it, guys. You can dual mine your CPU on your gaming rigs and your GPUs. Uh, that miner gate program does not conflict, that I've seen at least, with the EWBF miner or the Claymore miner. So you can run both of those. So you can mine Ethereum or Zcash or Zencash or you know any other coin that you mine with those miners and mine on your CPU with miner gate at the same time. And then for folks that are on Apple, you know you can also mine using miner gate. I don't have experience with that. I would like to hear from you guys to make sure that it does actually work for your CPU and GPU. Um, but at least it's something because all of these miners are really built for, for Windows. So you don't have a whole lot of options if you're actually running a Mac computer and you want to mine. So I thought it was neat that uh, they do have a Mac version. So I wanted to share that and highlight that with you guys as well. Uh, so again, if you want to sign up, you know, if you use my referral link, it does help me out. Buy me a coffee uh, with your, your your pool mining fees, so I appreciate that. No cost to you, and uh, I only recommend products that I do believe in and use. I've been using this for over a year on my CPU, 
and uh, it really does um, a great job. It adds up over time. You can see I've, I've been mining a long time. Um, right now I'm only doing three and a half thousand, but I've mined over 120 Monero using this program over time, uh, again, over the last year or so. So that's it, guys. That's Mining Monero, the beginner's guide. It is pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. You guys have been great with the engagement. I'll try to keep it up and, and support you guys. If you're running into any problems, just let me know. And please share this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for your support. I'll see you in the next video.